Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 15. We're just a few days away from the release of a major iOS update and of course a lot of people will be interested on this update and will want to install it on their device. So in this video I will show you guys everything that you actually need to know before you install iOS 15 on your device. Alright, first of all, iOS 15 will be released at WWDC 2021, that will be on June 7th, so this upcoming Monday. Now of course, this update will be released after the event, so probably it will be like 2 hours after the event starts. Now, the event will start at 10 a.m. Pacific time and you can expect it at around 11.30, maybe 12.00 to be released of course to the devs now this will be of course a possibility for everyone to install it because you know there is a way to install it using the dev beta profiles but that's of course not recommended that is a dev beta which means that it is supposed to go only to devs and of course be installed only on devices for that purposes that of course means that the public should not install iOS 15 on their device. What you can do is of course wait for the public beta release. Now the public beta is a program that Apple offers basically to install new softwares before they get released and give the public the chance to test these software out before they get released of course on their official version. Now as I said iOS 15 will be released on its first dev beta monday june 7th after the wwdc 2021 event but the public beta won't be released that day of course you can expect the public beta to be released like two or maybe even three weeks after the release of the dev beta now the public beta will be basically an option for everyone to install it that will be more stable than the dev beta because Apple user usually releases one dev beta and then the second one and once they are sure that it is basically stable enough for the public to test it they will release it on the public beta. So you can expect the public beta around the end of June and of course I will make a video on exactly how to install the public beta on your device. So this is what you need to know. Monday this Monday June 7th will be dev beta that is of course a software update that i don't recommend everyone to install it especially on your daily driver because it will have problems and we will talk about that in just a second and then around the end of june you will get the public beta that's the one that i suggest you install if you want to try out the beta again it's not recommended even the public beta to be installed on a device that's used on a daily basis if you have a spare device that you want to test the software out you can do that on that one now maybe you don't even care about the problems that you might have on your device when you install a beta software you just want to try out the cool new features but can you install it does your device support ios 15 well ios 15 is set to support devices from the iphone 7 and the 7 plus and newer iOS 14 currently supports the 6S, 6S Plus and the SE as well and Apple did an amazing job with iOS 14 on those devices but unfortunately those devices won't support iOS 15 so if you have an iPhone 6S, 6S Plus or an iPhone SE of course the original one you won't be able to actually install iOS 15 at all. Another thing that you need to know about iOS 15 is of course some of the major features that are coming to iOS 15 and these are the things that you can expect once you install this update to your device. Now these have been reported by multiple sources and I can say they're basically confirmed coming to iOS 15. I want to always give a shout out to HackTU Pro that's my main source for these leaks and of course a big shout out to Angelo Libero for these amazing concepts of iOS 15, watchOS 8 and of course macOS 12. I will leave him linked right down below in the description of the video. So make sure you go ahead and give him a follow on Twitter or on his Instagram. The links will be right down below in the description. You can see the amazing job he did here and this is basically the control center. So all new control center is coming to iOS 15 and that will be basically based or I can say inspired on the control center that we have today on macOS Big Sur. You can see how cool this looks like we have here the light and the dark mode. It looks absolutely amazing. 
I would be really, really satisfied if we just get this exact one that was designed by Angelo Libero. It just looks amazing. Again, he's done an amazing job here. New things that are coming are other UI designs, of course, apps will be actually redesigned a lot of them and we can expect also to see a redesign on the icons on the home screen of the devices now ios 15 is set to bring the icons that have that 3d look from mac os big sur to ios 15 so that's another thing you can expect and also interact to widgets now widgets on ios 14 are cool and all that a lot of people love them and of course use them on daily basis but there is not actually much use to them you can see right here i have the battery one all i can do here is just take a look at the battery percentage i would have an option here maybe to turn on low power mode or just go to the settings of battery that should change with ios 15 and you can expect to see on ios 15 interactive widgets other things that are coming to ios 15 are redesigns on apps several apps will be redesigned and the settings app is one of them you can see again this concept here again amazing job by angelo libero here and you can expect to see a total redesign of the settings app you can see this card view this was actually even leaked by apple on some screenshots that they released earlier like this month or last month i believe and that will be of course what you will see on ios 15 there will be big changes on the imessage app as well it will be basically more like a social app apple is expected to do that something like whatsapp or something like that they will have of course way more features than it currently has on ios 14 and you can see right here the design this is amazing really cool another thing that you can expect is a totally new lock screen on ios 15 and you can see right here again by leangelo barrow angelo libero right here you can see this amazing concept we will have like a several different things here you can see a new design on the lock screen you will have like a new way to manage notifications on the lock screen of your device and of course new settings for notifications are coming as well so that's something really really important now another thing i want to point out right here is this one right here so you can see basically here a concept of an always on display now an always on display is supposed to come with ios 15 but according to i hacked you pro this is something that has to do with hardware so this maybe will come with ios 15 but it probably most likely will only be on the newer devices the iphone 13 or the 12s whatever apple decides to release when talking about things that you need to know before installing ios 15 on your device is not everything good things new features and all that cool stuff it's also problems that you will get by installing a dev basically a dev beta on your device so if you install the dev beta you can expect to see battery problems crashes apps that you use daily not working on your device because of course most of them will have to be updated to support ios 15 so this is something that you need to be aware of and of course know before you install ios 15 on your device expect your device to have crashes maybe reboots and of course a lot of apps not being supported with ios 15 because devs need to have their time and their hands on the software to update their apps now last but not least should you install it should you install the public beta and when will ios 15 be released to the public of course the final release as for the dev beta i don't really recommend it unless you're a dev don't install it wait for the public beta if you really want to try ios 15 on your device wait for the public beta especially if you're trying to install it on a device that's used on a daily basis now as for the final release of ios 15 you can expect it somewhere around the end of september mid to the end of september that of course will be based also on the release of the new devices new iphones by apple but just of course as always a day before they the new devices get shipped you will get the new ios 15 on your device so that's basically it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe for more that's what you need to know everything that you need to know regarding ios 15 before you install it on your device hope you guys enjoyed it for more ios 15 videos of course make sure you subscribe and leave a like and i'll see you on the next one